Welcome back to my virtual over the road trucking adventure in Texas. We're picking up where we left off in Brownsville, Texas, but we're going to do something a little bit different today. We are in the midst of the uh, Valentine, Sweet Valentine event with World of Trucks. And so I have dispatched my trailer or sent it back to the garage, dismissed my trailer. That's what I've done. And we're going to go pick up a event trailer here in Brownsville, and we're going to take it to its destination. So uh, we are without trailer at the moment. We're still at the rocket place. What is this called? Super heavy, uh, super heavy starship. Um, so we're at that place, and we're going to go get our load. It is about 38 miles away. You can watch the horses running. Or we can pay attention to what's going on, driving-wise. Oh, guess you can turn that back on. We need to get here down here in real life. See all this stuff. And I'm speeding. Which is easy to do when you're not dragging a trailer around. It's like real life. You get rid of your trailer and your truck just wants to go. All that power. I used to struggle with that sometimes when I was bobtailing around. All that power for pulling loads and man, it just takes off when you don't have a load.
turn right. I believe that is an old aircraft carrier being demolished out there. I don't remember which one. If you know, leave a note in the comments. Or leave a comment below. Let, let everybody know which aircraft carrier it is. I know somebody has mentioned it before. Go straight. Because in a different profile, I've come this way. Okay, we are almost there. Keep left. After 50 yards, turn left. Turn left. our trailer. Sweet Valentine. Yeah, I know I can't sing. All right, let's talk about where we are going. We are headed north to San Antonio. Well, near San Antonio. I'll have to remember when we get here that there's a photo opportunity. I have to try and catch that. Let's see, is there any others along the way? I kind of would have expected there'd be one here for that aircraft carrier, but I guess not. Oh, there's one over here, Corpus Christi, but we're not going there. We have 281 miles to go to make delivery. So let's go. Oh, how heavy is this? Almost 40,000 pounds. Valentine gifts. They urgently need these Valentine gifts in San Antonio. Oh, what's the name of the place there? Budget at Walmart. Okay. Still think that's odd. That's weird. Go straight.
I got a heavy-ish load. Sort of heavy load. I think we're about to get on the freeway here. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. Turn right. 69 east. We have 259 miles to go. Oops. A nice looking trailer. Or our work on it anyway. I wish I could use my own trailer to pull this load. But I get it. We're showing off the, uh, the Valentine stuff. Showing the love. But I'm a truck driver. I just care about getting the load from here to there.
I'm just enjoying the scenery. get in here also let me fix my camera that's <laughs> I moved it by mistake Came up kind of quick to have to turn in this away. It's all good. Truck is not in disrepair. Turn right. But we still have to slow down and stop. Wasting fuel. Oh, we might have had to stop up here anyway. I thought we were on an interstate freeway. It says 69. This must be a part that's not completed yet. So it's US Highway 77. So yeah, it'll have traffic lights on it. But we're coming up here to intersect with 37. And that is an interstate also. It takes a few years to transition from a uh, regular highway to an interstate freeway system. We've got that going on between Phoenix and Las Vegas right now. It's been it's been a decade or more. Highway 93 from uh, Phoenix to Las Vegas is being redone and reconstituted into U.S. Highway or uh, Interstate Freeway 11. Since it is a north-south freeway, it's basically going to replace US-93 for part of its route. I don't know which, which way it's going after here, after Las Vegas, I mean.
I remember a year or two ago I saw an article proposing different routes through or around Las Vegas. And then where it goes from Las Vegas. So it may transition into following US Highway 95 towards uh, the not to Reno but to that in that general direction. So if it follows US 93 and then US 95, then it would go west, northwest out of Las Vegas, and then work its way up to um, the Fallon area, and then north to intersect with Interstate 80. And then it I don't know where it would go from there. Ultimately, it winds up going up to the Canadian border, either in the, uh, I, I, I would guess, near uh, Sandpoint, Idaho, north of Sandpoint, Idaho. How it actually gets there, I don't know. Whoops. That is a long ways down the road. 69, Interstate 69, which is what we were on, on and off. That's another one that's taking years to get done. It's converting from U.S. highways in Texas. In fact, a lot of it is U.S. Highway 69. And ultimately, I think that works its way up to Northern Illinois, I think. Or is it Northeastern Indiana? And then Michigan. Well, here we go again. Yep. speed again. I guess I can just hop out.
Hot Wells Boulevard. <laughs> Hot Wells. I've never heard that name before. Oh, San Antonio. We have discovered San Antonio. Hot Wells Boulevard. So, is, are there really hot wells? Like, you know, drilling that's been done and hot oil comes up or something? Anybody know? Let us know in the comments if you know. Seems to me there's there it is, a photo opportunity. Let's see what we can do here. I got a hot key to hit. Tower of the Americas. I have never heard of that. Got it. shadow cross right in front of us I could hear the air aircraft's engine it sounded like it was a propeller you know a prop job there it goes sort of oh yeah all right we're taking this first exit military drive Sarzamora
We are here. Turn left. We're here. I know that's not the correct quote, but or the not an exact quote. But it's what pops into my head. If you're not familiar with that quote, it's from the original Poltergeist movie. They're here. All right, where are we going? I'm guessing we're going into the dock next to that other Walmart trailer. Watch out for this fence enclosure over here on the right. There we go, we're clear. There's always an obstacle, it seems like. Make some of these jobs challenging. I know, I can do it, but kinda wanna fix it a little bit. I thought I had disabled the easy button. straight. set a little bit, but as long as we're straight. Yeah, technically it's not a good parking job. Because we're not lined up perfectly with the door. And that bugs me, but I want to get on with this. Okay, let's have a look at the map. So we haven't really explored San Antonio, but we have, did get this off photo opportunity. Let me back up a little bit. So we, we left from Brownsville. We, what, I got that photo opportunity. Why isn't that? Whatever. Okay, rolled up 69 to 37 to San Antonio and then down 35 a little ways to our current exit made the delivery so we will wrap it up here still a lot more let me go back to the map still a lot more of texas to explore i mean i think i think i've explored half of the cities here in texas so far in this series um we've covered a lot of roadway but there's still i mean we'll never get it all but we've covered a lot of it so I want to do some more over here in East Texas. And uh, of course I want to get out to El Paso and Van Horn yet. So we'll see what happens with that.
Um, we'll wrap it up. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and join or and, and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos like this one. If you want to help support the channel, you can buy me a coffee. There's a link in the description below. You can also click the join button. And if you'd like your name shouted out during live streams, select the reefer holler or flatbed or roll. But all roles, all members get their name and the credits roll, which is coming up now. Thanks a lot.